Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Um, so, yeah. would you like me to present in English or in Vietnamese, please? Uh, any objection from the Vietnamese delegates? Uh, Okay, so mainly in English, sorry, we have the domination, uh, do, dominate of the foreign people here. So I'm sorry for the local people. So we, we uh, you have to be hearing from my translation service. So sorry, I'm uh, presenting in English. Okay, so thank you very much for inviting uh, inviting me here uh, to present to present about the. The capture fishery sector, as well as uh, the aquaculture. So, so we know from the the previous uh, professor talking about the, our uh, fishery uh, sector. Um, so you can see this uh, some uh, summary information about the the, the geography, and uh, we have the. 82,000 uh, million uh, people in, in our uh, population. And um, the total area for uh, our country is uh, 3, uh, 300,000 km uh, square kilometer. And the coastal line is very long. So it's more than 3,000 3, km uh, for the coastal line. So that is the, the key thing is uh, how the potential of the, our uh, fishery sector is developed, uh, and uh, of course uh, our uh, economic uh, exclusive uh, zone is uh, more than one million uh, square kilometer. And uh, in terms of the the, 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 we have a lot of uh, Iceland uh, in in our EZs, and that's why the very uh, high. Uh, biodiversity in our marine uh, ecosystem. So this is a map exactly indicates us uh, our uh, uh, fishing area. You see the, in Vietnamese uh, we divide it and, uh, by three fishing area, the coastal area and uh, uh, the, the, the inshore area and the offshore area. So we, we divide it by, by different uh, zoning uh, area. So this come from uh, the our degree, but uh, I, just uh, to remind you, that, uh, this is uh, information using the. I mean, the, we have the, the old fishery law is uh, established in the 2003, and this this map following the old fishery law. So uh, actually, we have the new one, uh, the already adopted by the by the national assembly. So it's uh, 2017. But uh, the new law is not yet uh, implementing, so just uh, information here I just present uh, according to the, the old fishery law in 2003. So you see this, this uh, uh, there's a map is uh, still according to the fishery, old fishery law divided by three fishing zones. As I said, uh, it's a very high biodiversity. We have uh, around 11,000 tropical uh, marine species in the uh, marine water. Um, also, we more than 2,000 for marine fish, 130 species with uh, by very high commercial value, and uh, 30 species is uh, regular uh, export by capture fishery. So, we also the very big uh, Mekong Delta River is a very uh, uh, good area for the aquaculture. As you already know, that uh, the cover the area is more than forty thousand square meter, uh, kilometer, and a lot of uh, river lakes and other natural body of the water are located in the uh, inland area. So, this is uh, talking about the capture fishery. And later on, I will be talking about the, the aquaculture. So we, we divide it by the capture fishery and the aquaculture. So some information about the capture fishery. You see this is the, the number of the fishing fleet, fishing in our 
uh, area. The, so this, uh, can I go cheat? So the uh, yeah, this seems uh, still uh, under the old law. We have the uh, thirty uh, the degree number thirty-three it indicates that uh, the offshore fleet is considered for the vessel with higher than ninety horsepower. We, we consider this horsepower is so the engine of the vessel, and if the vessel less than ninety horsepower, it, we consider it's a small vessel. So we, we have two categories. The one is small and the, the other one is larger uh, 90 horsepower. We consider it's a large vessel. And uh, you can see it's, um, there is a decreasing in terms of the total uh, fishing fleet from 2011 to 2017. So now we have around 109,000 in total in the small and large uh, fishing vessel. Um, but uh, the, the, the small one is, uh, you see, is decreasing, but uh, the, uh, the big one is uh, almost uh, stable and sometimes it's increasing. So you can see here is the, the big one, that's uh, more than 90 horsepower. In terms of the, 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 the number by gear tie, so we have uh, several gear tie. Uh, uh, too many uh, traditional, uh, I mean, ch additional fishery in, 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 in our country. But uh, somewhere we, we just uh, uh, have some big uh, fishing gear. For example, the biggest one is, uh, uh, sorry. You see the, uh, the gear net is uh, very big in 44% uh, in the uh, uh, 109,000 fishing vessels, so it's amazing that more than 40,000 uh, uh, vessels in uh, targeting on the green net. And uh, the trawler, the trawler is uh, it's one of the, the big issue uh, because uh, you know the trawler is catching everything in, in under the water, so so it's, it's very uh, impact fishing gear. So now uh, the government tried to I mean, to control, to reduce uh, the, the number of children. But uh, you, you see, it's, uh, it's, uh, according to the, the statistic, it's been very high in the, in the total of the fishing fleet. And other gears, uh, person, uh, hook and line. Hook and line is also a very big one. And uh, we have the, the tuna. I mean, the, this is, um, uh, I consider it's the oceanic tuna. We have uh, two kinds of tuna. So, uh, one is uh, uh, coastal tuna, I mean, uh, um, how can I say, it's a uh, small tuna, and the other one uh, uh, located in the, in the uh, offshore area or in the f very far from the coastal. So we, we consider it's oceanic tuna. Uh, in Vietnam, we have, I, I'm coming back to the, with the tuna fishery in Vietnam. It's, uh, I think it's very important economic uh, uh, fishery in, in, in Vietnam. You see, yeah, right, exactly. Here, this is uh, oceanic tuna in Vietnam. So, in in, in terms of the, we have five uh, five percent of the total fleet, but uh, in terms, this is the number of vessel. We have three gear, three gear, uh, targeting on the tuna fishery, tuna uh, species, uh, uh, hook and line, uh, gear net, and the persona. So, uh, three gear, and. Um, you can see the variation for the for the different uh, fleet, and uh, actually we have uh, uh, see the the percent a little bit uh, decreasing, but uh, the hook and line is uh, the big hit here in uh, 2017. Uh, this is the the catch, the oceanic tuna catch. So it's just, uh, you know, uh, we are the corporate member of the Western and Central Pacific Commission, you know, the uh, our recent uh, uh, fishery management uh, organization in the, in the Western and Central Pacific Ocean. 
So we are not a full member, but we are cooperating in a member. This uh, we call the CNM. So on the tuna, also need tuna fishery uh, rep, uh, information. We need to report to the to the WCPFC. It's uh, Western and Central Pacific. Uh, so this is the the, uh, the total caps that we already provide to the to the WCPFC for the regional stock assessment already. So you see the the increasing trend in, uh, for example, the green net here, very uh, big increasing, and the other green also increasing. Uh, but for the headline, is uh, almost uh, stable. The zero one is uh, stable in in, in the, our total cat. Um, this is uh, by species, the cat by arsenic uh, tuna species. So when when you see the arsenic tuna in the in the WCPFC, you have only four arsenic tuna species: the big eye, zero fin, skipjack, and amber core. There are four species that are menacing by uh, WCPFC. You know, so in our water, we only have three species under four arsenic tuna. So we have big eye, zero fin, and skipjack. This is the uh, information exactly the similar to this one, but uh, it's uh, categorized by, uh, by, by, by uh, species. So the, 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 the total is uh, now we have uh, in 2008, uh, this is the uh, information for 2017, we have almost uh, 110,000 uh, metric ton. That is the total for three species. So this is a uh, summarize for all the marine uh, aquaculture and inland uh, fishery. So this is uh, the total catch. You can see the the marine uh, catch uh, increasing, and also the aquaculture you see the also increasing chain. So uh, just uh, s some information about the export value for for tuna you know the uh, the tuna is the, the key uh, species in, in in our country this is a very important and uh, very high economic uh, value species so the the, the the total export for 2017 is uh, almost uh, 600,000 uh, uh, six, uh, 600 uh, million US dollar. So it's, it's, it's contribute very high in, in terms of the economic value. So this is uh, only for, 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 for tuna, you know. One species, the key species in, in our, our country is. But re uh, just uh, remind us, uh, this is uh, not only for our cat, our domestic cat, but uh, we, you know that we have the import cat from other countries. So this is. Uh, the total export is uh, including the domestic cat and uh, the, the import catch. So we, we import the raw material and we uh, processing here. We have a lot of uh, processing plant here in, in Vietnam. So it's, uh, and then we export. So this is the total export, including the import uh, raw material and the export, uh, I think, I'm sorry, the domestic catch. So we combine everything. It's, we have got uh, almost six, uh, 600 uh, million. Sorry. Um, this is uh, this is the uh, export for tuna as well. This is uh, I'm coming for the aquaculture now, so because uh, I have very, very limit, limited time. So you see, this, this is the aquaculture area the, for the for the stream. And Pagasut, this is a key species in aquaculture in, my, in Vietnam. So this total uh, farming area for uh, Pagasut and, uh, and, and, and and stream is uh, is uh, uh, one one thousand uh, one hundred uh, um, uh, hectare, uh, one 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 million uh, hectare. So sorry, this is. Uh, this is uh, time uh, thousand. So we have uh, one uh, one million hectare for for stream and uh, pangasius, 
And this uh, for aquaculture of area for stream. So this is almost uh, 700,000 uh, 700, uh, hectare. And, uh, and the production for the, the plant grass use, you see this is uh, also very high. We have uh, um, the area here, 6,000 6, hectare, and uh, the total uh, production for plant grass use is uh, 1.2 million metric ton. So it contributes a lot for the aquaculture in, in Vietnam. So this is, uh, so this is uh, the production for the stream aquacultures. You can see it's uh, very high, very high uh, production. We have, uh, this is the two, uh, main two species, white leg and the black uh, uh, tiger species. This is uh, because, uh, sorry, this is uh, my main uh, 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 professional is uh, in capture fishery. So some, I get information from my colleague from the, uh, on the aquaculture. So this is information just for the information. But uh, I get the, the information from my colleagues. So I don't have any more explanation. Uh, you, have to add, you can add later, but uh, I'm not in, in in the main background in the aquaculture, so just uh, very information. This is uh, the production for the, the pangas suits. Here, so I think the organizer already provides a presentation for Iran, so if, if you want to have a look, uh, detail the statistics that we can get from the organizer. So it's just very quick. Exports for stream is very important. Export for the stream, we export a lot. Uh, in the uh, European Union and uh, ASEAN, China and uh, US. That is some key uh, market uh, export. So you see the, the total exports for stream is uh, 3 uh, billion US dollar, more than 3 billion, nearly uh, 4, 4 billion US dollar in uh, 2017. So it's very, very high value for 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 stream and uh, this is a uh, pan gas use so this is uh, more than two billion US dollar the total export for the pan gas use this is uh, our uh, structure the the, the 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 institutional arrangement so we have the the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development here and under the province we have the coastal area coastal province we have 28 coastal province so. Under the, the Ministry of uh, Agriculture, we have the one, only one research institute, and the Directorate of Fishery Managing for like, the producing the, the legal framework. And this is uh, institutional so the research to provide the scientific, uh, scientific advice. And uh, another sector for the managing the uh, quality control. So that is uh, the, the, the institutional uh, structure for for, for capture fishery as well as uh, aquaculture in, 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 in Vietnam. So some uh, legal framework. I'm not uh, uh, talking uh, very detailed. So this is a list of the, our legal framework for the capture fishery. And this is for aquaculture. So too many uh, uh, legal documents here. So this is, uh, as I said, this is uh, from the new, uh, from the old law. But now we are developing the, 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 the legal framework for the, following the new uh, fishery law. So we started uh, to effect in uh, the 1st uh, January 2019. So this is uh, based on the old law. And uh, as the professor already indicates, as, uh, I think this is, uh, I got the data from the FAO 2016, so this is, uh, the Vietnam uh, located here, so we have following China, India, just for aquaculture product, and for marine. So also we, we are the third country in the, in aquaculture. So you can see it's very important for in terms of the 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 the, the capture uh, the, uh, the the fishery sector in Vietnam, but. You know, the, some issue. So I just uh, list to have any, any comment and any uh, opinion. So 
the overfishing, of course, in the, in the coastal area, we have a lot of fishing fleet. Um, 109,000 uh, 109, vessels, so it's, it's a very big one if we have any overcapacity. There's a CPU that catch per unit effort. So you see the, this is uh, the green one is uh, the CPU and uh, the red one is uh, uh, capacity. So increasing the capacity, but uh, I mean the catch and the green one is uh, CPU, so it's decreasing. So it's, uh, and um, monitoring controls, controlling surveillance. So how we can control the, the fish capture fishery sector and also the illegal unreported and uh, un regretted fishing. So it's a very well, well known uh, concept in now, in our own area. So the bycatch environmental issue and how you, you use the market by uh, measure. So this is, uh, I think uh, so now it's, it's become very popular now using the market by measure. And the compliance, so we can, we can list all the issue here and then we can have a chance, you can discuss about the issue. For aquaculture, the upper capacity, this is the cooperation in the supply chain, the capital investment, uh, fertil uh, finger lines, the quality of the finger line, and also the, uh, using the international standards. So this is uh, that's the recommendation for the for the discussion point. I think this, this come from the organizer. They asked me to to to, to find out something for discussion. So just a list on the aquaculture and the capture fishing so for everyone to discuss. And finally, the the standard uh, the, the certification system. So we know that we have the uh, two kinds: the compulsory. Uh, uh, certificate and uh, the other one is non-compulsory. I mean the voluntary. So we are uh, we we have to to follow the compulsory and then the non-compulsory is uh, for the business to business. I mean to B to B. So so here in the capture fishery, we are now using the of course the EU regulation zero zero point zero zero five. Just every every country we want to export to EU, so you have to follow this regulation. Just to, Cost is for traceability and eliminate, uh, eliminate the IU fishing. And then the ICAT also the compulsory. Just, uh, you know, the ICAT is the uh, uh, International uh, con 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 Convention uh, com Commission for the Atlantic Tuna. So it's ICAT for sword feet and the big, uh, big eye tuna. It also need to be, if you want to export to ICAT member country, so it's for the traceability and sustainability. And the other uh, uh, non-compulsory is the, the don't uh, so don't fish, uh, also compulsory. So we, they, uh, if you want to export to US, so we have to follow the, the, the regulation. The marine stewards, stewardship culture, MSC, everyone already know in the capture fishery. So this is the, 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 the voluntary uh, aquaculture. So, So the, the, the global gap have all the forms uh, this uh, the uh, compound fish manufacturing, the seedling, the sector sector. So using the, the step by step for the for the global gap uh, certification system. So thank you very much. So this, I think that's end my presentation. Thank you.